Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! A retro review, episode 26. Tonight we're reviewing Death Becomes Her. Death Becomes Her. Yay! <laughs> Finally! Finally! So, you all requested it, but it was bumped up to the top because this is a very special episode brought to you by John Sullivan, a very big spender. I don't pop my cork for every man I see. On Patreon. So, thank you very much, and thank you everyone for your support. It really means the world to us. So, cheers. And speaking of, you might that have segue. Um, so, we are opening. We have. Wink has some ciders, and so we figured what better way to end Shocktober than with some strong cider. Mm. It was less dramatic than I thought it would be. There was no pop. No, no pop, six, squish, Cicero. Uh-uh. Lipshits. <laughs> pop, six, squish, uh-uh. Cicero. Lipshits. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Death Becomes Her. Oh my gosh. This movie is just the best. It's the fucking best. It's the movie that I knew that everyone discovered at Blockbuster because the cover was that cover with the candlestick oh going God. through her stomach yeah. and her neck is backwards. Like, yeah. that's how I found it. That's mm. how everyone I know found it. It was like, What's oh, this? I mean, good on the uh, art department or yes. whatever. Robert Zemeckis uh, directing it. One of my favorite directors. He's done a ton of my favorite movies. Romancing the Stone, Back to the Future. There's a ton. He does... Um, well, not anymore. Well, exactly. That's not the since problem. Not he became weird 3D man. Well, here's the thing, though, that I like about Zemeckis, is that Zeme he's, he's always, always been going, about pushing going the boundaries, it. right? <laughs> and they did a lot of what makes this movie great oh is my God. that it was, like, pushing the boundaries. Well, like, the, it won Best Oscar for special effects. They still look really good. Yep. And it's based in some sort of reality. You know, it's not just... Sure. It doesn't devolve into some crazy over the top. What you know? It's really about these three or really two characters. Yes. <laughs> it's a classic story of you know. Girl meets girl. They fight over boy. <laughs> they kill each other and then they live forever as zombies. <laughs> classic story. This classic. Classic. <laughs> well, in the music, I mean, that's what first oh, yeah. we, when we were watching it today, I was like, oh. It like brought me back. I was like, oh yeah. my god, the music. Like, it's so iconic. It's Alan Silvestri. Who oh, did, like, really? Back to the Future and Predator. He did like. He's done tons of stuff. He's done like everything. He managed to do like comedy uh, Bernard Herrmann. You know, it's like a Hitchcock score, but like a comedy. Yes. It's it, well, great. It really gets. This movie gets the camp. Mm -hmm. It's like intentional camp, but in the perfect, like, best way. Because it's still an absolutely genius movie. You know, a lot of camp movies are like, I mean, it's campy as fuck, and it's not a great movie, but I enjoy the fuck right. out of it. This is like, oh no, this is an amazing movie that's also campy. Yes. <laughs> and all the performances are great. So yes. like, every all of the pieces are working. All, all it's, the pieces it's like Clue, are where it's like, yeah. oh, this is so campy, but it knows it, and it's intending to do that. Yeah. Like, I mean, when you, you start off, and it's like, you know, New York City, you 19th. know. 78. Right, you know, it's, it's like, like painting with the rain. Like weird and digital <laughs> matte yeah. painting thing. I don't know what's going on. But it on. works. It's oh, like... so if, this movie creates a world. Yes. You. It doesn't feel like Earth. Not really. It feels like <laughs> death becomes her. You know, yeah. it's it, the whole thing has a vibe and a look and a tone. Yeah. And you're just in it. It kind of reminds me of Ghostbusters. Yeah, where you feel like you're in a bubble of yeah. the Ghostbusters universe. Yeah. Yeah, totally. But we start, we get the marquee of Songbird. Oh, yeah. oh my god. What poor taste. <laughs> Making a musical out of Sweet Bird of Youth. <laughs> ah! Can you believe that? A musical version of Sweet Bird of Youth? Who are they kidding? Thank God you wanted to leave. It's true, that would be awful. I don't know what Sweet Bird of Youth is. It's so. a Tennessee Williams play. Oh. That might give you a clue mm -hmm. about the poor taste. Yeah. About like a failing famous actress who's mm -hmm. like, you know, and then the young... Paul, I mean, I love Paul Newman's in between. You know, I love the what that says about. I mean, that's like it's great. Yeah, it's great. I mean, this movie gets it and understands what it's doing. Yeah, on every level. Yeah, and Meryl's singing into oh this God. empty mirror. Is she? Know. I mean, that sound dubbed. Sounded. Dubbed. Well, I'm saying that mirror uh, is well, empty. Sure, that's sure. what I was saying. Oh yes, real. yes, yes. I think that's her voice. I mean, obviously she's not singing live. But she no, has, and she's like doing she some... She has a nice voice when they put her in the right key, with sure, the right song, with sure. the right... Ex da, 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 well, if it was her, then she did sound great. Yeah, I mean, they might have unced it. But yeah. It sounded like her. What I'm really made of. 
what am I made of? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> and all of her gay backup dancers. Oh, yeah. Broadway Oh, dances. my God. Oh, hi. That's, I mean, it perfectly parodied Broadway in the 70s also. Sure. It's like, this. oh, this is literally everything Bob Fosse was fighting against and all that jazz. Like, this is the antithesis yep. of that. This was also very, like, springtime for Hitler. Yes. With, like, like a, a Tennessee Williams. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. And it's great. Yeah. And then it becomes a disco. Oh, yeah. They, they sample the hustle. Yeah, do that. Do, 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 do. And you're like, what is this? People are walking out. <laughs> I would have, I would not have walked out because I would have just been like this. What's this? No, I mean, you already paid for the tickets. We pan down. I mean, the filmmaking is, is really beautiful and genius. Like mm -hmm. when you really just look at the shots and how everything's set up and it's all just, I mean, Zemeckis, Zemeckis. knows how to make a fucking movie. This pan down to show everyone's like, oh, like, oh, yeah. the poor yeah. taste. Yeah. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is horrible. And then Bruce going. Willis, oh my God, it's, she's, she's an angel, yeah. you know? And, and Goldie Hawn, uh, I mean, on both their wigs. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has made a real life musical out of this. Ooh. You know, they've made the Heathers musical, the Mean Girls musical. Like, this is such a campy... And you mean out of death becomes her. I mean, yes, but also, like, extend the Sweet Bird of Youth themes sure. throughout. <laughs> also that, yes. It's, that's what I want, yes. Good. So they go back to Meryl's dressing room. Oh, you are. Well, I, I always loved how she said, You idiot! Helen, you idiot. <laughs> Helen, Helen, you, you idiot. idiot! Like, the way she said Meryl's it. line delivery yeah. possibly makes this movie. Like, it's well, so... Well, like, and Goldie. Of, of course, of course. But, like, course, yeah, they, they say things in a way that makes it iconic. Exactly. Or maybe I've seen this movie 2,000 times. But it's, but it's both. It's both. Like, yeah. the fact that, like, you know, what are you not? Yeah, or now a warning. And there's yeah. just so many different ways that like it could have been nothing limes and instead right. they are iconic. No, and it's so interesting like that this movie even exists, really. Like on paper, right? Oh, it's two 40-ish year old stars, big stars who wouldn't normally be in this sort of comedy, sure. high um, concept movie. You know, like Bruce Willis, is, you know, it's yeah. just like... It shouldn't really exist. Right. It really shouldn't, and it wouldn't today. I mean, they wouldn't make this no, movie I don't today, think so. which sucks. But, like, it's really this bizarre enigma of, yeah. I don't even, like, it just was lightning in a bottle once again. Yep. I wish that they would make more movies like this. Oh, 100%. Although I don't know how many people have the skill to really pull it off. Exactly. I mean, if someone did, I would like it. Yeah. Apparently, mm -hmm. Bruce Willis replaced Kevin Klein. Oh... I would have liked that better. I don't know. I guess what I I'll... can't like envision anyone else. He might have been too charming. So many times. so. I don't know if he could be that much of a loser. Exactly. Like Bruce Willis really went for it. Yeah. And he, I mean, and this is the height of Bruce Willis, right. the action star, and he's in this fucking movie. It's yeah. like bizarre, but that I is... love it. I mean, I miss when he used to care and you know, like pick thoughtful projects and like outside the box things that seem to be invested in acting and things. I miss it. I love Bruce Willis. I like Bruce Willis. He's great. I think he's one of the action stars who can really go across genre. Sure. And still be like a good actor. Yeah. Fair. And not just be like, oh, I'm Arnold because I am. And right. Like that's charisma. true. You can you know, look at, yeah. Like, eh. uh, Bruce, you're like, whoa, you're, you're, you're a fucking you're great an actor. actor. Yeah. yeah. I love it so much. Well, apparently, because, you know, they keep calling him Earn. Right. Oh. Like, Ernest. Yeah. So it's supposed to be madder than hell. Like, madder. Madder than hell. hell. That's funny. It's, you know, it's I mean, wordplay. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. And, well, and Meryl getting right, you know. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. You know. Yeah. They both do that. I love exactly. Like, exactly. the practicing. Yeah. You know? Exactly. I need to speak to Madison. Ma Madison. I'm sorry. Madison? Madeline. Whoa. I don't know. I need to speak to Daryl Hannah from Splash. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't know what you're worried about. I have absolutely no interest yeah. in Madeline. Absolutely no interest in Madeline Ashton. 
I remember this so vividly. It really creeped me out as a kid. The and like the blood well, yeah. comes out or, like, or whatever. And then, oh my God, and they just go right through to the wedding. It moves along. It does. They set, I mean, they take their time to establish the characters and like yeah. who they are and whatever, but like it keeps good pace. Yeah. Da, 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 and they walk off and seven years later and Goldie Hawn is this tragic oh my God. cat lady yeah. eating mayonnaise. I, Crisco frosting. Ice cream frosting. Maybe it's like frosting in a can. I could, I still don't know. And me either. I still hate it. Yeah. It makes me want to bark. Yep. Every time. Yep. And it just seems opening cat, cats, more cats, cats, every door, cats. cats. And it's just like cat food and, and frosting. Fro frosting slash Crisco. Lard? I don't know. Right? Because when it was on her lips, it looked too glossy for frosting. It looked mayonnaise. -y. It looked, yeah. I always thought it was mayonnaise. Maybe. As a kid, just but... eating mayonnaise. Ugh. Landlord, you know, you're being right. evicted, you're being evicted. She's watching this old Michael Caine, Meryl Streep movie. I, I mean, I tried to find it. It doesn't exist. Oh, no, I figured it was just for this movie that they shot. But I it. think the Michael Caine movie exists. Oh. I think they cut it together. Interesting. Because I was like, oh, is this old footage from some whatever, and, and Michael Caine and her did a movie years ago. Not that no. I could really find. I didn't do a deep dive. But, you know, there could be some random TV movie or you something. You haven't watched every Michael Caine movie? I mean, a lot of them. You know, it was like Alfie era Michael Caine, you know, it was like back then. But anyway. She was only 16 years. I can't do it. You have, you haven't watched the trip to Italy? Or the trip? Or any of those? Oh, yeah, yeah, Where yeah, they yeah, keep yeah, doing yeah. She was only right. 16 years old. I can't do it. She was only 16 years old. She was only 16. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I can't do Michael I'm going to not attempt it. Michael Caine. There you go. Michael Michael. Michael Caine. Caine. No, it's not great. No. It seems like a real Michael Caine movie because it is like young Michael Caine sure. or whatever. And maybe they just dolled up Meryl or they cut another they movie probably, she maybe was they in put together. Her into I don't know. But or they just filmed her for it. Like, in, you know. It looks great. I'm not sure what the yeah. sort of history of it all, but they, you know, <laughs> whatever, rewinding it, yeah. rewinding oh, it. Yeah. Ah! And then we're in forced therapy at County yeah. Jail. I mean, it's very One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest yes. all of a sudden, and she's in group therapy, and... Is there anything you'd like to talk about? About today, Helen? Yes. <laughs> she, her, like, voice is different. Yep. She's, they're both doing a lot. A lot. And, I'm, and I love it. Oh, yeah. I would like to talk about Madeline ah! Ashton. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Oh, no! <laughs> Another seven years later, and we wake up to, we wake up, Madeline Ashton wakes up, we wake up to, with the neck pillow and the oh, weird yes. things the on the tape and the, and the it was very mommy dearest. It was very mommy dearest. Which it was later on as well. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I guess it was more, that was more whatever happened to baby Jane. Yeah, that was more that. <laughs> yes, this is very, you know, Christina, yes. Christopher, damn it. Oh, don't you look so lovely today, Miss Ashton? Oh, I think mm. I need to hear it. It's, it's not, not Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> I think I need it every day. <laughs> Are you looking younger? Mm, younger every day. Oh, madam, you look younger every day. Thank you, Rose. Thank you very much. It's so sweet of you to say, what is this? <gasps> oh, you're so sweet. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Forever young, what a title. <laughs> Her maid sort of disappears from the movie. Yeah. She only comes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Apparently. Apparently. Right, so now it's what, 14 years? Yes. Well, and he's a drunk. Is this an angel I see before me? <sighs> Dr. Manfoy is so cute. Not you, Rose. He's a drunk who, for being drunk, is no longer allowed to be a plastic surgeon. You know, this was, okay, so this was never explained. Mm. The only thing that I could gather, because he, so he plays scalpel darts right um but he was shaking he lost his so he drank so much because she's because she drove him to know. drink maybe i i don't know why he what he, that was all was about miserable or whatever i don't know so then he couldn't pre I, maybe he hurt someone like maybe that's what i'm thinking like oh and then he got he had to stop doing it but anyway he's no longer a plastic surgeon he paints he's dan Aykroyd in my girl he paints people dead bodies yep. to make them look alive yes and this smiling rigor, rig, I can't even say rigor Morris. 
Rigor mortis. Rigor mortis. Um, rigor mortis. Rig yeah. Rigor mortis. Body just. <laughs> yeah. And then we get to see the spa. Oh yes. And this is all very creepy. This sort of ha like it feels like it's on the edge of being Lynchian or or Terry Gilliam. Where well, like there's like that door the that opens and there's like, like that this guy like, like a hamster wheel, wheel of like, like, or something yeah, with the tubes yeah. and you're like what's this? You know, it's like oh what's going on behind all these closed doors? What's happening? Yep. yep. This reminded me of the vet. Of the vet. Mon Yvette. Oh, a vet. Mon Dieu. Yeah. Yes, there's a. I mean, there's a lady with a, a very heavy fake French accent with her tits out. So yeah. Yes. The plasma separation is a very traumatic process to the body. It is so okay, dangerous. We can only do it once every six months. It's practically been that long. You had one three weeks, weeks ago. <laughs> Mr. Chagall just appearing in the background. Oh, hello. Appears out of. I mean, that's like this. Spa feels like it's a different dimension. Exactly! It's, it's like, like you've entered the Twilight Zone. Yes. We're in this elevator, and now we're in like this weird... Like... Well, and that's what really builds the world. You yes. know, those little touches where you're like, I don't know the answer to this, but I'm intrigued. Yeah. By they were standing on. at the door, and yet then he appeared over there. Oh my gosh. Hello. Gives her the business card with yes. his twitchy eye. Yeah, what was that about? We never find out. I guess he hasn't taken the potion, or... But then he... Shows up at the party later? Maybe the potion can't cure... Maybe he's trying to earn it through referrals. I love that idea. That's what happened. He's like, here's this card, you know, they'll right. fix you up. And she's like, yeah, right, you're kook, whatever. Yeah. And then she goes to the party. Oh, and... well, I mean, when they're in the limo first. Oh, my God. Could you just not breathe? You just not breathe. And we get to see Mary, Mary Ellen Trainer, who yeah. is like my favorite 80s actress that no one's ever remembers. So she's Robert Zemeckis' wife, ex slash ex wife. I don't know oh. when in the timeline they got divorced. She's uh, the mom in the Goonies. She's oh. in Romancing the Stone. She's in Die Hard. Like she, she's like shows up to be, you know, she, I think she's the mom in, in Monster Squad. Like she's like the mom that you'll know. She's here, great. So she shows up to be like, oh, you did such a great job on my Anna. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. You even brought out her cheekbones. Well, that's my job. It's almost a shame to bury her. How did you make her seem so lifelike and real? Well, I finally realized, you know what? I can't be using makeup. I need to use spray paint. <laughs> and then he just starts going to all the details of the yeah. spray paint. Oh, my God. <laughs> so upset. Yeah. It was really a shame to bury her. Oh, my God, right. She looks so good. Oh, it looks like she's lost a little... <gasps> Her reveal of just oh like, God, yeah, so in this red dress. Oh yeah, with the strap just back, yeah. Fabulous. She really becomes a different character. I mean, she becomes three different characters. Oh yeah. She's mousy, you know, uh, uh, underconfident yep. Helen, and she's crazy cat lady Helen, and then she's a cat person or something. She becomes <laughs> oh my God. an animal. We will talk about that later. That was a long time ago. You didn't steal him. He went. It wasn't you. It was him. Just this like crazed yeah. look in her eyes and the lip work. Yeah. The close, the close lip work. <laughs> A lot of it. Well, then the, the lipstick kiss, of course. Well, because and that's in the first scene. Yes. When they're in Songbird, she kisses Helen, or yeah. it like reverses. It's great. Because this movie's fucking great. Oh, well, you know, my publicist said, oh, well, Madeline Ashton, she'll just go to the opening of an envelope. Because <laughs> some people are so mean. I fired her. Well, I almost fired her. <laughs> but oh my god, yes, her side piece, Dakota, who's oh, yes. like probably a regular on General Hospital or of something, course. like living in his guest this house. Bungalow. Just about this bungalow. She comes over, catches him in the uh, act. At least lie quickly! I went, <laughs> I, she was she, came over for because she's the friend, friend of the of, guy who's who, the. Uh, <laughs> she's a friend of 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 the guy who was here to fix. Oh, for Christ's sake, at least lie quickly. I am trying to. Her like crying, insane driving. Oh my god. <laughs> And of course, I mean, I love this too, where it's like, when in LA has it ever rained and thunderstormed like this, particularly on multiple days? <laughs> Never. It always rains in LA in the movies. Well, sure. It's more dramatic that way. And then, the, of course, like the Hitchcock music is playing, yeah, 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 yeah. and it's very <laughs> psycho, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. very psycho, <laughs> or whatever. So good. The car's veering. Yeah, just going crazy, and then she looks at herself in the mirror, 
<laughs> that just stops in the middle. <laughs> and this is where we sort of start cutting back and forth between Madeline's storyline and Helen's storylines. Madeline, I've got to speak to Madeline! No, that's not quite right. Madeline, Madeline I've got to speak to Madeline! You know, just <laughs> poofing her eyes yes. and just like, oh, and then. Of course, panning out to the never forget wall or whatever. Oh my god, like, never yes. again oh wall my god, or whatever. So good. And the fake poster for the Michael Caine movie. Yeah, yeah, like, got all the dark windows, I think is what it was called. I was like, what's this? I love it. Her like serial killer wall. Oh my god, it's crazy and I love it. I think this is probably my favorite part of the movie. So she finds the card, she goes to the address, and it's this fabulous, like, Mansion. Yeah. I love that it was channeling a lot of like the Hearst Castle, you know, yes. especially later with the pool. Yes. Um, she shows up, there's this like... Circus magician? <laughs> like Siegfried and Roy's like, yeah. like little boy yeah. like that they keep? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. The high pan, the wrestling belt, the you low... Love, yeah, I don't know. Well, That's we meet good. Tom, Dick, and Harry. Well, yes, so we really, do. That's why we're wearing oh, these my God. That is why we're fabulous wearing these. shirts tonight. Any Tom. Harry or Dick. A dick dick. A dick dick. Any Tom Harry or Dick. A dick a dick. A dick a dick. A dick a dick. Dick dick. Dick dick. I mean, so do you think that they were named that because of I mean I think the phrase Any Tom, Any Tom Dick and Harry yeah, is true. like a thing. That's and then true. both movies utilize that. That's fair. That's I mean fair. maybe they were like also like Fame remember that yeah. fabulous moment in Kiss Me Kate? I doubt like, it. Like sure, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know. But these are available at moviepages.threadless.com if you yes. want one. Yeah. So then we get introduced to Isabella Rossellini. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's just the most fabulous. The most fabulous. She just has the like... bejeweled breastplate? It's... Right? It's just like... Sarong? And it's like... Yeah, <laughs> of course. Like, I mean, of course I'm gonna be half naked. Or <laughs> naked. The <laughs> entire time. <laughs> it's the fountain of youth bitches. Like, she's just like... <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna have. Keep your ass, honey. Um, <laughs> you know, of course, I'm gonna have these, the these pool boys. Mm -hmm, you know, just at my bidding. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Keep your ass handy. And then, meanwhile, uh, Madison, I have to speak to Madison. I'm sorry. Oh my god, why do what? I keep doing that? Why do you want to watch Splash so much? Get over it. <laughs> Madeline! I have to talk to Madeline! She's, oh, she's not, not even here. here. Oh, oh my god. Great. Drops her... <laughs> down. Yeah. You know. The seduction begins. Oh yeah. I used to be a different kind of girl. You couldn't say sex. sex. You couldn't talk about sexual things without blushing. But now yeah. I can. Sexual. Sensual. Yes. Sexy. Sex. <laughs> she just keeps sex. toxic. It's like, what? Sex. He's like, uh, I mean, he's basically a cartoon character. Yes, like he's yes. playing it like a Tex Avery, like wolf, just like, I, 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 woo, God, yeah, you know, okay. I mean, it's just like, ah, like all of his face. I mean, it's like he could be in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's like the 100%. same. hundred percent. I mean. Zemeckis. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it, he's literally a cartoon character that you kind of love. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, Ernest. Kind of. Ernest Earn. Melville. Menville? Menville. No, oh, screw the natural law. Screw the natural law! <laughs> That's good. She's everything. The way she says it is good. Oh yeah, it was Isabella Rossellini. I mean, sure. But just the way. If I were a snail. <laughs> if I were a snail, my anus would end up on top of my head. Unfortunately. We get introduced to the potion. Yes. I mean, this was cool too. Like, all of the world building is great. It's really, really good. She sort of starts to explain it, and she's like, it stops the aging process in its tracks. Yeah, and it makes it retreat. So I guess that means that's implying that you will de-age. That's, I mean, yeah, is that it's like, no like, more aging and we're going to make you young again. But not a baby. I, that's, it, I always am like, so do you so, get to like pick the age? Right. Like that, I was looking really good at 28 or right, whatever. Right, so like, right. That's, that's what where I'm we're gonna... going. I don't know. Maybe it goes to the ideal. Sure. Or like the peak maturity, right? Like it's like, oh, we, like you were right. growing. Yeah. That's where we're going to stop. There. Sure. Well, and then she does the trick with the hand. <gasps> and it yeah. still looks so what? good. What? Nuts? <laughs> Great. Ow! The way she screams. Yes. Ow! What are you nuts? Her is delivery it... is everything. Oh yeah. Is Chuck okay? <laughs> she's 
like yeah. and so she drinks it and, and it kind of seems like she might die has it well it's like everything glows yeah. and she's having <gasps> now a warning now a warning now, now a warning, warning. <laughs> so good it's classic <laughs> take care of yourself yes this is the only body you'll ever have oops and then her wonder bra. Oh yeah, the and her rrr, rrr, and but, the, her butt lift. I yeah, know. yeah. It's... And it made such a funny like, like yeah. sucking, and then like a no, yeah. like, I don't know, it like clicked into place. Sure. Was, I don't know, it always made me laugh. Like what's this? Her hair. Oh, oh I'm a girl again. <laughs> I mean, her body does look snatched. Oh yeah. I mean, both of them obviously like look amazing but they did a good job of their ages are somewhat ambiguous and they do a good job of like aging them enough it was a good progression yes well oh my gosh so then we're back with helen and ernest making out on the couch oh oh i can't do this anymore i'll just divorce her divorce in california that's exactly what she wants you to do there was also a lot of fun Play, like playfulness with LA and Beverly Hills yes, and, yes. and youth and you know that whole scene or whatever so that was really fun yeah well and more to come later yes well it wasn't like heavy-handed it no. was just the world that they created and then Helen's murder plot oh my god fantasy dream sequence. well I love this too that she's like I thought about it and there's only one way and it's like this isn't a red flag to you that she's already planned out like the perfect murder of your wife she's just so sad Sensual. So sensual. <laughs> Sex. Those eyes. Sex. Those hungry Sex. eyes. Really. Oh my god, the crazy eyes. They are. I mean, they get crazier throughout, right? Oh yeah, particularly when she's dead. Yeah. They get crazy. Like she looks Ins insane. Like, it's insane. Okay, great. Yeah. Everyone's in white and it's walking in slow motion and she's vo voicing over oh, the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Tomorrow I'll call Madeline to say goodbye. I'll try to get her to invite me to dinner. Fine. Why don't you just come to dinner? Why don't you just come to dinner? <laughs> we lace every single uh, oh, wine glass with knock or whatever. Which, as you know, I mean, it's so silly. It's so silly. Meryl plop. Yep. Face plans. And first, we finish dinner. Yeah. Then. <laughs> report that we've seen a drunk woman swerving dangerously close to the edge. There's some drunk woman up here on Mulholland Holland swerving dangerously close to the edge. We'll make it look like she's had a little bit too much alcohol. There's wow. like. Wow. There's like 28 bottles of alcohol. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Put her foot on the gas. Wedge her, yeah. Send her away. By the time they perform the autopsy, the Narconol will be completely dissolved. The so, charred hand. Is it still holding the bottle? <laughs> Looks like, like another case of a drunk driver. So fabulous. <laughs> Meryl gets back in all her glory. Her like going out sexy like i'm going oh, yeah. clubbing right like outfit is like for like a movement class yeah. it's just like, <laughs> all black with this like heavy flowing it's like what why would you, what's going on exactly yeah okay great yeah. i love it i love it and then i mean this iconic scene so iconic that we remade it with miss vanji oh, that's right i forgot vanji <laughs> classic you're a tragic you're boozy flaccid clown what That's it. Placid. Nothing but a placid, boozy clown. Boozy. So the way she does yeah. with the head movement. Again, her line delivery yeah. is everything. Yes. Placid. 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 Say, Mama, I don't have to take this anymore. Placid. I don't have to take this any longer. You're always dead below the waist. She's your client. Like, she just goes all, all in. in. Such a bitch. Yep. He's had it. Yes. Well, he, try he has a moment of... No, I'll save her. Well, because he yeah. starts choking her. Yes, like, for, really you know, aggressively, the kicking of the feet. Yeah, and... all of that, you know, sliding across the floor. And, um, oh my God, what was I doing? You know, yeah, ah. I'm so sorry. And help me, help and her, me. like, teetering on the right. stair. Help me, help, help me, you idiot! And it's like, oh, oh no. <laughs> and she falls down so many stairs for so long. To be fair, I like that they really set it up earlier yeah. with the maid like huffing and puffing up these stairs yeah and then she's always clacking down yeah, like her yeah. heels and stuff no yeah. it, like it it made sense but like it was an absurdly tall yeah. staircase yes yeah. oh my god i killed her i killed her i didn't think i could do it but i did i did i killed her i pushed her down the stairs she's definitely dead there's no pulse and she's dead 
Exactly which part of the plan were you unclear on? <laughs> so I love that she has just do it on the Oh, I know. She's wearing a just yeah. do it, TJ. She's ready. She was psyching herself up. Yes. Oh, well, she's in her never forget mirror. Yes. The shot's so beautifully set up. You know, he's in the foreground on the phone freaking out and in the far background out of focus. It's just her body laying there and then we start to see a couple of little twitchies yeah. and she starts to get up and it's very creepy. Yeah. It's such an interesting way to shoot it and like such a good way to not be like, oh, we couldn't, you know, like it would have looked like shit if it was like in close-ups of like, blah, 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 oh, like all you of know, them. like, yeah, coming. it's so creepier yeah. having her just sort of get up and, and her, I mean, her backwards oh head sitting, falling, you know, my like, ass. what's wrong with me? My ass, I can see my ass. Trying to like call on the phone. You're ah. right. There's something really wrong with your neck, too. I would freaking well say so. <laughs> well, then this is where we get a lot of the Beverly Hills. So, like, of course, there's valet at the Beverly Hills Hospital. You know, oh, yeah. he, like, hands him a ticket, like, here you go. Oh, my God. He, like, charges it. We get a Sydney Pollock cameo yeah. as the doctor. You know, does this hurt? No. Does this hurt? No. Does this hurt? I told you no. I told you it didn't hurt. Are you telling me it doesn't hurt when I do this? It doesn't hurt. I told you that. Try it out on the stethoscope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it seems like your wrist is fractured in yeah. three places. You've at least two vertebrae that are broken. It's hard to say without an x-ray. Hard to say without an x-ray, but... Protruding bone from the skin is not a good sign. Your blood temperature is well below 80, and you have no discernible heartbeat. <laughs> well, what does that mean? Exactly! I... <laughs> and then does he die? We don't know. I mean, because he's like, I gotta go get help. And he leaves, and, and Ernest like, I'm gonna get help too. He's running around, and there's like an emergency happening, oh and God. it's Sydney Pollock like having a heart attack, yeah. and everyone's like, oh my God, what happened? Code red, code red. <laughs> but then also there's that tennis guy, the tennis accident. Oh my God, the tennis accident with the bleeding knees. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, racket. he still has his racket. Oh, night tennis. <laughs> it's a commentary on American healthcare system, April. <laughs> He's been waiting there for hours. <laughs> sure. He comes back into the room, and they're oh, I'm sorry. Sir, we lost her. Oh, yeah, because she passed she out. Died. She fainted. Where is she? Where is she? She's in the morgue. In the morgue? She'll be curious. Where did you put my wife? They took her to the morgue. The morgue? She'll be furious. <laughs> this is when he really shines. Like, yeah. He's just like losing his mind. He really gets more stuff to do at this point. Yeah. Running down to the morgue, the creepy floating nuns. Oh, yeah. All of this like stuff that didn't need to be in the movie. But, oh, no. Like, uh-huh. Once again, it's Tell like, what, where are we? Like, there's so much, it's like... I feel like in the musical, the nuns get a whole song, and they're riding on, like, a, a, what are those? Hover, hoverboards. Ooh, yes. And she's been placed into a... What are those called? I don't Cold know. storage? I don't sure. know. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> she he unzips it, and she's sort of fabulous. I was like, wow, Meryl's right. really pulling off this body bag. She was? Big collar. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, I'm just Meryl. Goldie Hawn has like an outfit for every, oh. so like she's got her like burglaring outfit, right? With like the beret when, she, when they leave to go to the hospital. Yes, she's like yes, her yes. Like, her little like cat burglar outfit. I mean, she her walk. She's like a little cartoon. Like yeah. she's like a little raccoon burglar. And then later, after she comes by to like bury Meryl's body or whatever, she's got her bearing her body, right? Like, bearing a body outfit with like the the veil and the hat. She, <gasps> well, and so this is when sort of the plot. I mean, it's so friggin' weird on paper, right? Like, okay, so this mortician, essentially, this, like, painter, yes. you know, mortician. Like, there's no real reason why, like, he should be good at all this painting and things. Sure. Necessarily. Like, his training shouldn't have necessarily prepared him for this. Not at but all, but anyway, whatever. He's painting her on the pool table. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, I can't get it right. The highlights in your eyes are off. Do you want people to stare? <laughs> If the highlights of your eyes are completely unbalanced, you want people to stare? This is sort of the plot unfolding. Like, oh, yep. if what happens when you can live forever but your body dies, essentially. Helen comes over, you know, oh, we gotta get rid of the body, you're crazy. She thinks Bruce Willis is insane at this point. Right, like, he's right. like carrying a dead body around, like, I can save her, I can save yeah. her out of guilt or whatever. And this is when Meryl's nails, like, oh become God. a new, another character, just like on the column, like... <sighs> she was a bad actress. Oh, <laughs> Meryl gets to overhear the plan. Exactly. And, and she... I mean, she just goes for the shotgun. Flies across the screen. Oh I mean, God. it's so amazing. <laughs> hey, Helen. <laughs> Into the fountain. The fountain that <laughs> turns Proceeds bloody. to, like, turn 
bright red. Bright red. She's dead! She is. <gasps> These are the moments that make life worth living. These are the moments that make life, life worth, worth living. living. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's so good. It's sort of fun to see Brute, macho action star Bruce Willis, right? A, being this kind of character, but sure. also that he's so isn't the lead. Like, right. it's the two women. It's about the two women. It's yep. about those two actresses. It's about their relationship with each other. Oh, yeah. He's a, a toy. He's a toy for them. Yeah. That's sort of fun. Yeah. To watch play out. Yeah. Then it becomes like part of his character, too, is just he's resisting being used as a permanent makeup artist. Right. We gotta have him on file. Exactly, like, okay, we need someone who could live forever and do our makeup and our spray paint and whatever. I mean, it's so amazing. It really is. I feel like this is so iconic. The shot of them, they're trying to put out the tarp and, and the water, Goldie Hunts just, oh, yeah. you know, stands and, and, and up the and the water's pouring, pouring out, of out of her. They don't notice or look up. No. And then you can see them through her, oh my god! You know, they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> That was totally uncalled for. But, like, she still looks fabulous. Yeah, of course. I mean, at this point, Bruce Willis should just faint and lose his mind. Yeah, you know what I mean, he has. I mean, he's it's just another like, miracle. It's another miracle. Like he's just grasping at straws at this point. I don't think this is a miracle at all. You're a fraud, Helen. You're a walking lie, and I can see right through you. <laughs> they have oh this shovel God. fight. The shovel fight. I'm good. Yeah, and then just, I love this when the, the shovel breaks and she throws it. She throws it like a it spear. Right. Yes. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, yeah. So many fun things. Ah, yes! No! Oh, damn! I mean, they did a lot of, obviously, special effects on Meryl's neck, but they did let her do a lot of sort of the physicality sure. of it, and yeah. that really sold it. Well, then, what was this? He keeps, he's packing up. He's like, I'm getting out of oh, here. Yeah. You guys are crazy, obviously, because you're dead. Yeah. I don't even know. Right. But he's packing up his dartboard. It's like, I'm leaving. I'm taking my stuff, which is my dartboard. Well, then he packs it in his suitcase. Yeah. He's like holding it like it's yeah. mine. Yeah. Uh, it was like practice. a little bit of clothes. I don't, I, really, I don't know. He really wants to practice. I guess. But they convince him to paint them one last time. Yes. So he paints them all up. Oh, he looks so fabulous. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, I probably shouldn't have touched it. Oh, oh. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> what are we going to do when we need touch-ups? Do you think he'll come back into town? He's not going to live forever. So they're going to drug him and take him and force him to take the potion. Yeah. And all this, this Drink, pint oh of scotch God, that is just like a full pint. sloshing around. Also, I drink too much. So then she just hits them over the head. They both do. Yeah. Oh, that one didn't. I mean, it's a cartoon. Of course. On some yeah. level, they're Tom and Jerry, and this is a cartoon. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's pretty fabulous. Yes. So we're back at the mansion. Oh my God. Tom, Dick, and Harry. With Tom, Dick, and Harry. And I mean this. Oh, I mean this is why this movie has like become one of the reasons why this movie has become like this sort of gay cult following, right? It's just so fabulous. Oh yeah. And everyone in it's so, so fabulous. fabulous. If we weren't wearing these shirts, we would be wearing fabulous Kentucky shirts because all three of these bitches 100%, are on there. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. But Isabella Rossellini swimming in the pool naked, oh, yeah. and then she gets out of the pool in her scarf right. and heels. <laughs> she was swimming in heels. She just. Steps out of the pool in these heels. I mean, I died. I was like, yes. <laughs> and then Tom, Dick, or Harry, I don't know, puts oh her, my God. her sorceress cape oh on. Oh my God. Oh, this is just uh, the collar, and it's fabulous. And she's giving him the whole spiel, you know, oh, you gotta take the potion, you gotta yep. take the potion. Yep. And Drink! Siempre viva! You have to. You live forever. And this huge. Stained glass window above her of the David and mm -hmm. God, Ma, you know, whatever. Just like it's just so good. It is. It really is great. I mean, we didn't even talk about the packaging of the of the potion. Oh I mean, my it's god! Like in this onk box, yeah. then it's in a Fabergé egg that she opens with a oh, yes. flourish. Yeah, right. And then it's this flash. vial, yeah. and it's like it sits up on its own. And... There's so many like little details that yes. are like interesting and yes. fun. You're like, yes. oh my god, yeah. Did you notice her like one coke nail? Which is like one. Yes, one super like, long nail. I guess you could still OD, technically. Sure. With this in this scenario. Yes. Right. Yes. Huh. I wonder. Do drugs affect your body in the same way? We don't know. We don't know. He pricks his finger. His hand gets young. Yep. Now, do we think his hand staying young forever? Maybe. Maybe that's how he could practice medicine again. Just with the one, the one really good hand. Yeah. Oh, honey, your one hand is so young. What's that about? It's 
weird. Well, I kept it wrapped up in Vaseline. It's like, um, it's like Zoolander. Oh, right, right. <laughs> drink! 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 Because the, you know, stained glass is behind her. This crazy says, no! And he runs off. He won't get very far at his age. So then they start to have a lot of fun at the party. Oh, you yes. Know, with who, who's dead, like, you know. Who took the potion. Well, because she starts off at the very beginning. She says, oh, one of them just said, I want to be alone. Right, she's like referencing Greta Garbo and then Marilyn Monroe and Andy Warhol are yeah. hanging out. Because, you know, he did her portrait. I mean, that was famous. I, I did love that, like, she's still hanging out in her gentleman prefer blondes dress. Right. Like, oh, well, this is just... My love. Maybe it aged her back. That was the best time. Exactly. I don't know. Who but knows? it was just like, and then she was wearing that iconic look to this party. Okay, great. I sure, love it. Whatever. Sure. Well, great. then Elvis had like his. They made the Elvis joke. Yep. I feel like that was such a thing in the night. Oh sure. All the Elvis jokes, and then the rooftop chase. You know, escaping and the falling off the roof, hanging on his suspenders. Right. Drink it. Drink, drink the potion. Do you still have it in your pocket, yeah. Ernest? It's the only way you'll survive. You yeah. have to drink it. And, and they're like, like, no. Throwing him the scarf, trying to get him off, and then he lands. Oh, I mean, this is so yeah. right. Oh, crashes through the stained glass ceiling into oh, yes. the pool. Interrupts Jim Morrison and his model date. Are you going to be done with the pool soon? <laughs> She's like half naked. Yeah. Uh, and then we get James Dean. I mean, this is oh sort of God. sad because like the car he steals is like is the car James, he died in. Like, yeah. The spider Porsche, I think is what he died in. And I was like, Ugh. I mean, maybe that was... The... Like he faked his death, yeah. but he still has the car because he loves it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't either. But yes, he steals James Dean's car and he's off. Well, yeah, and then I guess he disappears at the airport because they go to the house and he's not there. He's already gone. I told you we should have gone to the airport. Yeah. Well, and Isabella Rossellini at this point has changed once again into like her turban and her like Isma outfit, like with the. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get him. You know, he can't know the secret or whatever. I guess he was just in like full hiding for yeah thirty seven years, right? Because then there's a time, another right. time jump. Yes. Yeah. Thirty seven years 37 later. Thirty seven years later, it's his. Funeral and life starts at fifty. And yeah. He went on. We didn't know much about him before then, or whatever. Although his name is the same. Well, right. So like he didn't change his name to go undercover, but sure, that seems like a plot. Hole. Seems like they would have been able to find him pretty easily. Seems but... like it. Seems like it. And they're so loud in the background. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh like, my god! It's so good. Two veiled creatures. Yeah, in the just very cackling. back. <laughs> <laughs> just yelling at each other. I had it when we left the car, okay? I had it when we left the car! Just shouting at the- Shouting at this funeral. Everyone's turning around like, <laughs> like what's going on? <laughs> he don't give a fuck. You know, and he really found the secret to the- Oh, eternal life, eternal, yeah. You know, the, the friends he made, the kids, the grandkids yeah. that he had, you know. The like, eternal youth through all the kids that he had. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And then we get these- this- Oh my god. Baby Jane. Oh boy, their makeup. Was insane. Insane. I mean, that's the point, but it's just like, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Their eyebrows looking crazy. Crazy. I mean, it's just so just good. Just like the clumpy, and again, like, yeah. yeah they're, and they're, like, they're all walking like crazy because I guess they've been rebuilt so many times. Yeah, because they keep, <laughs> like, you know, I'm sure that they've gotten into more fights over the years. Is that, I mean, I guess that's just what it is. It seems like they would be more careful to like not... I think that's, you know, their cross to bear. Sure. So they find the, the paint They find can. the paint can. There's another <laughs> teetering, teetering, teetering. Yeah. Oh, help me, hurry up! Yeah, she right, she pulls her. <laughs> oh! Her, that was a good, it's like, a lot of good sound effects. It's great. <gasps> I helped you when you lost your index ring. I didn't lose, lose it. it. <laughs> it broke it off. You know, oh my god, it's just so insane. Yeah. They humpty dumpty at the bottom of the Humpty dumpty at the bottom. Tumble, tumble, tumble. <laughs> It just crash. Shatter. This ending is so Tim Burton-y, you know? Mm -hmm. Like her head's like swiveling Spinning. over. The sound always felt wrong. Oh, it felt yeah. like a bowl, like yeah. you drop it and it kind of goes, like, rrr, 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 whatever. It's yeah. like weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tragic. A little How bit. How are they gonna those those funeral attendees are gonna walk out and oh my God. discover a, <laughs> a smattering of like a smattering of shattered body parts. <laughs> Talking heads. Do you remember where you parked the car? <laughs> I just, it always made me wonder, like, how do they continue? And like, so they'll never die, but they'll always be in these like shattery bodies? I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty tragic. Yeah. When you think about it. Yeah. You know, all they wanted was youth and vitality and their jealousy and they, all of that, yeah. you know. And now they'll be painting each other's asses paint each other. forever. You paint my ass, I'll paint your ass. <laughs> we have to look after each other. I'll paint your ass, you paint mine. Well, and apparently the ending was different. Oh. Not by much, but the ending was different and test audiences were like, no, we don't like it. And so they reshot the end. Basically, it seems like what happened is it's the same until the funeral. And oh. I think it was more pacing in, in my narrative that I've created. Like pacing that was like, oh no, we didn't need more of this. So basically, it seems like Bruce Willis runs off and Tracy Ullman okay. becomes his girlfriend or something. Helps him fake his own death to get away from Madeline and Helen. Oh. They're like living their lives in Switzerland like, oh, we're so great and we're aging and la la la. I like this one better. It just seems like literally like... Yeah, let's get it, there. It's, you know... Oh, and then he disappeared into, you know... Great. And he and then we have the eulogy to tell us what happened. Great. I love it. Yep. Oh my gosh. Well, so there you have it. I mean, cheers to this fucking movie. Oh, yeah. It's amazing and the best. It's the fucking best. So, so thank you for tuning in. Yes. Thanks, John Sullivan, once again. Yes. Thank for... you, Patreon. Thank yes. you, subscribers. Subscribe, share, like. Get buy our fabulous t-shirts. Buy our t-shirts. That are now m multiple meanings. Oh, yeah. I love that. So cheers. cheers. A happy Shocktober. Yes. Thanks for joining us Thanks for, for joining us. It was fun. I didn't even hate all the horror movies, so look at that. Yay.